Hey everybody, uh, Strange131 here. Um, just wanted to show you the technique I used for installing my bearings on a uh, 4G63. This is for uh, the balance shaft elimination kit. I actually got mine from this place here, from FFWD. Um, I feel like 65 bucks. Came with uh, brand new bearings and. Uh, the stubby shaft, um, pretty much everything everything you need for the install. Um, here's my the old bearings removed. The ones that comes with I just started here in the block. I've already installed the rear bearing, and for that, um, what I used since it's it's a little hard to get to. Let's see if I can show you there. I got a light on it. Back in there, where exactly where the lights at, you can kind of see. There's the that's the uh, rear bearing. Now with that one, you gotta press it in. You gotta beat it in there somehow. So actually, what I used was this here. Really starts right there and all the way up. It's about two foot or so extension. Um, a deep well socket and actually a hole saw bit. Well, the reason I chose the hole saw bit is because it's the same outside diameter of the bearing which for mine I think it's like an inch and three quarters I think this is. But this is how it goes in your drill or whatever that you're using. Excuse me. There you go. So what I did was take it off, take the shaft out, and actually install the shaft backwards. So after you do that, it's all tightened together. So now you have the stub shaft there. It's facing in. All right. And now the outside, the flat half, take the socket that you got, insert over the bolt in there, then take the long extension. Hook it inside there, and then this will go through the block, and then you just, you know, you beat it to get in there. Once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go um, for the rear main ones. Make sure you get it in all sealed nice. Um, also, note is make sure you have this front bearing. Mine's just, just barely sitting in there. Um, make sure you have that front bearing out. And for the front bearing, what I just used is another socket that I have laying around. This is like a 36 millimeter. So I did is just do the same principle. I just turned it around. So the side that would get the socket is now out and it's facing you and that's perfectly flat. So you take that, go to the block, like so. Oops, actually, yeah, that's all you need. Except for I misplaced my mallet. So what you gonna do is take your socket, place it flat on the bearing, make sure you're keeping it even all the way around so you don't you know bend it or jam it in there. And just hold her flat against there. And give her some love. Some love taps there. And then that's you know that's what the tool I don't know, it looks like it looks like a little mini piston. You take it apart instead of having it, you know, facing you with the hole. Flip it over. It'd be flat, look just like a piston top. Knock that bearing right on in. That's for that one. Uh, since I'm doing the install of the balance shaft here, um, to show you the uh, the front pump. Excuse me, front case um, install next.